Mr. Clown here from Clown Maths. Today we're going to be working out the surface area of a cuboid. If this is your first time here, please remember to subscribe and click the bell to make sure you don't miss out on any no notifications. Let's get straight into it with a surface area of a cuboid. Okay, surface area of a cuboid. So on the board is a cuboid and we want to work out the area of all the faces on the cuboid. Remember, a cuboid has six faces, three sets of two pairs. So first of all, we'll start labelling the sides. There's the length, there's the breadth, and then there's the vertical height. So we've got L, B and H, familiar sides, the familiar sides of a cuboid from the volume that we normally do. And we want different areas. So if we look at the first shape, if I just label this one number one, the area of number one is length times breadth. And I'm going to have two of them because there's going to be one here and then one hidden one at the back. Okay, let's pick a different colour. Let's look at area two on the top here. The area of number two, well, we've got the length is here, L. We've got the height along here, H. And again, I'm going to have two of them, one on the top. And then if I trace this out a little bit, you should be able to see here, there's another one on the bottom. One last area. The third side is here. The area of that third side, well, I've got the height, vertical height, H, times, going up and down the way, is the same as this one, so the breadth. And again, I'm going to have two of them. One at the front, and then if, I, if you look here, if I draw it like that, you should be able to see that we have another one at the back. Now, if I want the total area, the surface area, I'm going to have to add up what I get from the results of all of these, okay? So if we do that, your total area, I'll do that in black, will be 2 times the length times the width plus the length times the height plus the height times the width. And that would be a formula for the surface area of a cuboid. As I've said in previous videos, or do we want to really remember formulas? I mean, this is a massively long formula and you could play around with that, you could remember it, but there's better ways to do things and we're going to do it by understanding what we're trying to do. So although technically we need to do two times the length times the breadth, two times the length times the height, two times the height times the breadth, if I was just to give you that without saying what it means, chances are we wouldn't understand it. So instead we're going to think of it as area of one, area of number two, area of number three, I need to get all of them and I need to double each of the answers and add it up. That's how we're actually going to do it. So we're not going to remember this formula. Okay. Okay, example one says, calculate the surface area of this cuboid. So step one is to identify the surfaces that I have. So using different colored pens, if I just label this one number one, and then the green could be the top number two, and the side here could be number three in blue. And all I need to do, because I want the area of all the faces, is work out the area of each of the individual faces. Remember to double it because there's two of each face, there's hidden ones at the back, and then add them up. So I don't need to remember a formula. So let's just begin. We'll do number one first. So I'll write number one, area, and I need to identify six times three. So I'll write six times three, and I need to remember to double it, so times two, that's 36. I'll, not leave, I'll leave the units till the end, because the units are always the same, okay? So let's look at shape two, that's in green. So shape two, I need area equals, I need the length of shape two, so it's 10, because it's the same as below. I need the other side, six, six, so it's 10 times six. But again, I need to remember to double the answer because I've got two of each of them. So that's 120. Now you can take your time working that out, use a calculator, do it in your head, do a sum at the side, anything you can do to work out that. Let's move on to number three. 
area equals, well, I've got pen along the side, times three up the side, and I've got two of them, so that's 60. So that means that the surface area, I'll just write the letters SH to represent surface area, must be 36 plus 120 plus 60, the area of every single face in our cuboid. If we work that out, we get 120 plus 60 is 180, 180 plus 36 is 216. It is an area I've worked out, so it's square units, centimetres squared. And that's a very basic and simple example, taking our time, working step by step by step to get that surface area. Let's look at another example. Example two says, calculate the surface area of this box. So the difference between this example and the previous one was it's not telling us what type of shape it is. We need to know that that's a cuboid. That's fairly obvious. Also, it has been tipped up, so it's up and down the way as opposed to on its side. That doesn't make much of a difference. So step one, identify my sides. There's number one. There's one face. One different colored pen. There's number two, and get a different colour pen still, there's number three. Now I'm going to break this one down for you by actually drawing each of the faces separately. You don't have to do this every time, but it sometimes helps. So if I take shape one, that's obviously a rectangle, I'll just draw a rectangle. I identify that it's got five on it, and I identify going up and down the way it's got 40. And I'll do the same for the green rectangle. So again, I draw a rectangle, where's my green one? We can see it's 30, so I can just write 30 on one of the sides. And we can see it's 40 going up the side, so I can just write 40. And I can do the same for the blue one up the top. So I just draw a rectangle. I can see that on one side it's 5, and on the other side it is 30 because this one's 30. So remember, this is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. And remember, we're trying to do surface area. So I need the area of all the surfaces. Also remember, there's two of these guys, two of them and two of them. There's two of each surface, so six surfaces in a cuboid. So let's just do it systematically. Okay, so I've just extended the page so you can see what's going on. I've made this a little bit smaller so we've got some space to work with and we're just going to do what we did in the previous example work at the area of each of the individual faces remembering to double it because it's two of each and then add up for our total surface area so let's just do the one more one the area of number one is five times 40 but i've got two of these so that is 400. i'll leave the units to the end the units are going to be all the same because they're all centimeters Number two, the area of number two, 30 times 40, you should be able to see it easier now because you've drawn it, and you've got two of them, so times by two, that is 2,400. Take your time working that out. And then for number three, the area of number three is just five times 30, and you've got two of them, so I'm doubling that. So that's 300. So now we move on to work out our total surface area. Remember the surface area is just adding up our areas of all our faces. So 400 plus 2,400 plus 300. 400 plus 2,400 plus 300. And we get a total answer of 3,100 square centimetres. And that really is everything you need to know about working out the surface area of a cuboid. Thanks for watching this video on surface area of a cuboid. I hope you liked that and I hope to explain how to do it in an easy way. If you still need some help with 3D shapes, please remember to check the playlist on volumes of cuboid and volumes of triangular prisms. Until next time, thank you very much.